Hi everyone, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome and thank you for joining me. So, this is going to be a haul video and what a haul I have got to show you today. I'm so excited. We'll get into it. <laughs> that looks so wrong. Dear me, I am so sorry. All I can do is apologise. Um, the weather is glorious and when the sun comes out, I go a bit loopy. So <laughs> that's all I can put it down to. Right, I'm going to show you what I've got. I have bought a lot of different things today. Well, yesterday it was actually, if I'm going to do the video properly <laughs> properly I can't even speak anyway yeah I've got a lot of different things um so there should be something to interest most people here I want you to let me know in the comments how you've been doing with picking things up to sell um are you a reseller let me know in the comments um I like to know who's watching me so I want to know if you're a reseller if you're not a reseller what interested what interests you about my channel let me know um, I'm going to be doing some different videos soon on different topics that I've been asked to cover so bear with me for those but today it is a haul and yeah I'm really really chuffed I'm just trying to scratch something off here um yeah I'm really chuffed with what I've got anyway I'm going to get into it I'm not going to bore you any longer so this was four pounds from the RSPCA now I must point out that we went I went with my best friend Lisa so hey Lise and um she drives so we managed to cover four no three different towns um we went to yeah three different towns that are near me that i don't normally get access to because i don't drive and they're a bit of a bugger to get to um bearing in mind one of them is the next town to us but because there isn't a direct bus there you have to actually get two buses to get there so it's a bit of a pain so i tend to avoid those unless i'm with her but yeah um i picked this up anyway four pound this lamp um it's marble look at that beautiful what i love about picking up things like this from the charity shop is that electricals in most of them are tested now i'm not sure whether there's a new law where they can actually sell things that are tested that are electrical because i found that nearly every charity shop i go in now the electricals are tested or they just don't sell electrical items at all they've taken them off the shelves so i think it might be a new thing so um i think i said in the last video that i did um I try and tend to keep these on, but this actually has stamped on it RSPCA, so it's not the best thing to be selling it with. So I'll probably take it off, but I'll put in the listing that it's been tested by an electrician. Um, so yeah, this lamp is an interesting one. I want to know what you all think. Um, I'm not sure that the lampshade, which is glorious, glorious vintage lampshade, I'm not sure it goes with the marble lamp. This is really heavy, by the way. No stamping on the bottom, it's just solid. Um, yeah, I'm not sure it goes. Let me know what you think. Would you sell this together? Now, my thoughts on it are, these lamps have sold on their own for 15 to 20 pounds. And the lampshades have sold on their own for around 10 pound, vintage lampshades. Now, these are... You know, they're pretty good, the vintage lampshades. I think people, if you want a vintage lampshade, you know, this is the sort of thing you're going to be looking for. Um, this lamp, not sure that somebody that would want this lamp would want this lampshade on it. And obviously, for packing purposes as well, what you've got to remember is that if you're going to... I mean, this is heavy anyway, so it probably would be a medium parcel, so it's a bad example. But usually, lamps aren't that, aren't that heavy. I will get my words out. So you'd be able to do this as maybe a small parcel without the lampshade, but you add the lampshade into the mix, it's a medium at least. So it's more postage. Now I know when you put postage on your item, you cover that anyway, but 
I think to keep your cost down for your buyer, I'm thinking, should I split this up? Should I do £10 lampshade, 15 to 20 for the lamp? Or should I just sell the lamp and the lampshade together? But I won't get as much because the lamp, yeah, the lampshade, I don't think particularly um, gives value. And also, um, I'm going to be probably holding out for somebody who either can see past the lampshade and realise, oh, actually, I can take that off and change it. But a lot of people are very visual. Um, so I don't know whether that would happen that quickly. Or am I going to be holding out for someone that actually really likes this? Because I don't know whether it's a bit too out there for a modern day house. Let me know what you think anyway. I mean, like I say, if, if I was going to sell this together, I'd probably go for 20 to 25. But again, if I split it up, it's £10, £9-£10 for the lampshade and 15 to 20 for the lamp on its own. So I suppose you'd think it's a no-brainer, but I just want to do what will sell the lamp quickest, basically. Get it out and get my profit in. That's what I want to do. Right, so on the subject of lamps, I'm going to stay with lamps because I've only got three, so I may as well show you them all. Now, this is beautiful. This costs £3, again, from the RSPCA, and it has been tested. But again, it's got their sticker on it. This is lovely, isn't it? Look at this. Now, I know it's supposed to have a base, like a wooden base to stand on, but I don't think it really matters. It's very vase. I've been looking this up and I think the word for this, now you'll laugh at me probably, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it ginger, is it ginger jar? It's something like that anyway. The ginger something is kind of the style, I believe. But this, it's very Laura Ashley. I mean, it, the, the, um, the lovely pink flowers and leaves, the detailing that's gone around it is beautiful. And then you've got the gold top for your normal two-prong bulb. Um, this is lovely. This, again, is quite heavy, not as heavy as the marble. Um, this will be a medium parcel by the time I've packed it all up properly with bubble wrap, cardboard, got it in a box, made sure the filler's all in there. Um, I've looked at one similar to this. I'm going to Google Lens it. Um, if you don't know what Google Lens is, you're basically going to Google on your phone. You've got a little like TV icon in, on the search bar the side. Click on that, you take a picture and it brings up things that are similar or the same if you are lucky. So I am going to Google Lens that and see what I can find out about it. See if anyone else is selling them, see if they're still available, all that sort of thing. And then work out how much I'm going to list it for. But I think that's lovely. It's beautiful. I think it can get away being in a modern home as well it's not overly fugly vintage now i know some people like that stuff i saw a lamp yesterday and it was hideous to say the least it was pot like that it's ceramic it was white with blue and colored painting on it and it was just horrible i can't even begin to describe how awful it was and the lampshade didn't even go with it, but it was really vintage, really fugly, awful. Um, and I did toy with the idea of buying it, but I just thought it's something that is going to be a very small market. And I'm trying to look for things that will appeal to the masses rather than things that, you know, I need to wait or keep it around and wait for someone to get it. So that's why I didn't buy it. Right, so here's another lamp. This was £4 as well. And this was from Sue Ryder. Again, they've tested it, but they've got a Sue Ryder sticker on, so I won't be leaving that on. This is lovely. This is by, this is actually stamped, this one, Dorma, made in the UK. Now, recently, I picked up a load of vintage bedding. If you've watched that video, thank you very much. If you haven't, pop back onto my channel and have a look. Um, I sold all of the vintage bedding within phew, three weeks of me having it that's probably been generous as well and some of it was by dorma two two of the items i think i've still got some dorma curtains so i know that this goes pretty well 
Now, I just love this. Now, first look of this, I thought, oh, it's dirty, but it actually isn't. It's supposed to be this faded, lovely, floral lampshade with all these lovely little hanging bits, which are all there. They're all intact. Um, and this wooden base. I think it's really nice. Even though it's vintage, I think it still has that modern look to it. Um, I don't know about all the fancy words you use, like, you know, like for your art decor and things like that. I'm not really sure. I don't know what era this is from. I wouldn't like to guess. I'm not going to pretend I know everything. Again, some research will need to be done. But I saw a listing for two of these lamps and a ceiling lampshade. And that was for £85 plus postage. So I'm going to try for around 30 to 40 for this lamp and see what happens. As I always say, I start high, so don't cringe at my prices if you think they're a bit high. I always start high because sometimes things sell really fast and they sell for the price you want. Other times I leave it a couple of weeks and I bring my price down. I always put best offer on so people can send me an offer of whatever they like. It doesn't mean I'm going to accept that offer, but I'm open to sensible offers with, on everything. I think this is lovely. What do you think? Would you have bought this? This lamp as well, it hasn't got it in, but I've got a free bulb. So happy days. Bulbs are expensive. One thing that I've really been shocked about actually recently, I remember like going back to the 90s and early 2000s when I used to nip and get my mum a bulb when she needed one. You could pick a bulb up for a pound, but I know now they have to be, they have to meet certain criteria and all that. And they're a lot of money, aren't they? You, you're talking probably seven, eight quid for one bulb crazy on that note you'll like what i've done here <laughs> i picked up these now these have a really funny ending i don't even know whether you can well you will be able to get something to put these in but i don't know what it is they're very thin screw bulbs and they're from ikea 11 watt 50 watt um yeah so i can't really tell you much about these other than yeah they are what it says on the tin these were £2.99. Now, they're a little more than what I'd like to pay, but it was quite slim on the pickings <laughs> yesterday. I'm not sure about that. Really? Does your, does your Alexa do that? What's she not sure about? <laughs> don't even know whether you heard that. She just started talking. We don't call her Alexa because our son is called Dexter. And every time we said Dexter, she went off. So we've changed her name, which I'm not going to say because she'll go off again. But yeah, that was weird. Anyway, these bulbs, um, they tend to do pretty well. Everybody needs light bulbs. I don't know about this fitting, but I thought, yeah. And I normally pick them up for anywhere between 150p and 150 These were 2 99 As I say, it was slim pickings. There wasn't a lot out there. So this was actually the first thing I bought. I went into, it was an age UK and it, the prices were so high, like really expensive. But there wasn't even anything in there really that I wanted to buy. I mean, when I got home, I had to do some research because this is a funny story. It's a side story. I always have these, you know this. Um, Basically, they had a load, somebody had collected over the years, a load of ornaments, ceramics, and they were monks. There was big ones, medium ones, small ones, egg cups, money boxes, you name it. There was loads. And I thought, well, they must be expensive because I had to double take. I would have took a picture or a little video and put it on my shorts, but it was right near the till and I didn't want to be rude. 49 99 the one that was that size, was on for. 49 99 There was one next to it, about that big. 39 99 I was like... I picked it up and had a look at it because I had to. It felt like cheap, tacky ceramic, you know, like you used to get from the A to Zs in the 90s where you'd buy like ceramics from there when you were a teenager thinking you were grown up. I'm talking like um, candle and wax things and all that sort of stuff I used to buy. All the cheap pottery. It wasn't particularly painted very nice. Um, and there was no markings on it at all, but they wanted £50 for it. So when I came home last night, I did a bit of research. I put in everything I could think of that it would come up as. And lo and behold, I found them. The exact ones. They've sold on eBay. 
don't know where they got the price from, but they've sold on eBay for anywhere between, for the big ones, 15, 10, eight little ones, a lot less in groups. So I don't know why they thought they were so expensive. Maybe I'm missing something, but on eBay, they do not sell for much. So why they have got it on for £50, I feel like they're being a bit... I don't know, if someone goes in and buys those because they like them and they think they're worth a lot of money, I think they may feel conned when they get home and research it, if they do. I mean, someone might be happy to pay that money and great for Age UK if they do, but wow. Yeah, so anyway, back to my bulbs. <laughs> These, I think, 10 to 12 pound. I haven't researched those exact ones, so I will have to wait and see. Um, like I always say, if you want to have a nosy at what I put things on for, that is fine. Go on to my channel, go on to my, I think it's my about bit. And if you're on a phone, um, it will be there. If you're not on a phone and you go on a laptop, they'll just be up on the top on my banner. Um, so you can go on to my shop and you can have a nosy. You can even follow my shop if you like and see what I, see what I put on. Um, yeah, so this is a funny story. Here we go. I've got this cat. I thought it was crystal. It was in a cabinet. Um, it was four pounds. I don't think it is crystal. Um, but when I've done some research, some people have listed it as crystal slash glass. So I don't know whether that means they don't know what it is or whether it is crystal slash glass. I have no idea. But it's a lovely cat stretching with its tail in the air. The make under here. I'll take that off now because I've showed you the price. It is called... Villaroy and Bock, I think it is. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. You might be able to just see it. I don't think you'll be able to see what it says. I'll just go like that. But it is stamped. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd done a bit of a fail because basically what happened... I'm a bit of a... I can be socially awkward at times, let's put it that way. So I go into the charity shop. I can't remember which charity shop it was. Um, and I asked the guy if I could have a look at this out of the cabinet because it was in the cabinet with all the expensive stuff. I couldn't see the price or anything. And while I was looking at it, he was like getting rather close. He smelt and he was like, hey, <laughs> and making noises at me. So I just said, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll take it. Um, just to get away, <laughs> basically. <laughs> So I went and bought it. Um, I actually bought some bowls for our house as well, star-shaped like nibbles bowls. I know that's really uninteresting, but yeah, I bought those as well. Um, yeah, this this does have what looks like a scratch there, but I don't think it is. I think it's actually within the thing of it, if you know what I mean. I don't know whether you can see it. But yeah, um, people have listed this as an ornament, a paperweight all sorts of things now there isn't this actual one on ebay there are cats but they're either laid down cats or sat down cats they aren't cats like this so four pound yeah i've paid up i shouldn't have paid that i don't think but i think i am going to list this for 20 and see what happens and i'm gonna go for the crystal glass um header and put obviously the make in it and that it's a stood up stretching cat I think it's quite cute. So I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I thought, you know what? Sometimes you've just got to take a chance with things, haven't you? You've just got to. And I did really well with my crystal pig. If you um, have been watching before and you know about, you've watched my videos, should I say? God, I'm getting all flummoxed. Right, so anyway, again, let's get back. £2.60 I've paid for this very vintage Mason Cash & Co. Lovely mixing bowl um this one is in much better condition than the last one i bought there isn't the scratching which you'd expect it's dirty it needs a clean that most of that is dirt in there um i don't think there is any chips or cracks to it that i can see um yeah so this was a funny one i haven't researched this yet i know that it's a vintage bowl i know it's old i love it and I have got another one that has some damage to the inside. So if this isn't going to go for a lot, I think I'm going to pair it up with the other one and do a multi-listing of two vintage baking bowls. But yeah, I went into the Oxfam 
after I'd bought this, um, I don't know where this was from again, I apologise, because again, it's just, there's just a sticker, bric-a-brac sticker on the bottom. Um, and they had one very similar to this, but it was the make of the one in there, is it TG Green? Um, and they wanted £12.99 for it. And it was, I think it was damaged, I think it had a chip. It, they wanted £12.99 for it, but it had been reduced from £24.99. So yeah, getting this for 260, very, very happy. I'm hoping it'll be 12, 15 pounds. But if not, I'm gonna pair it up with the other one, like I say, and I'll see what I can get for it. Right, so the next thing, another vintage item. I love this. This was two pounds. Look at these. They are Ravenhead Siesta Sunday dishes and the six of them and they're in the original box so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of work with this um not much but it, the box is inside there's a lot of bits and dirty bits you know that because it's been stored and it's got dirt and filth in it but the packing on the bottom is all intact um there's a little bit of oldness and dirt so like i say i'm gonna take it apart clean it all out these are the bowls. There are six of these. How lovely are they? They remind me of ones that came from my grandma's when I was a little girl when she died. And my mum used to use these to put blancmange and jellies and trifles and things that she made in them. And they're very similar to that. They've got this lovely textured glass going on. Anyway, the six of these, I'm not going to get them all out for obvious reasons. They are made of glass. I always get really upset if vintage items get broken. I can't bear it. But yeah, they're all in there. There's six of them. These are selling on eBay at the moment. £10 plus postage, £15 free postage. So whichever way you look at it, you've got £10. Um, I don't know, obviously, on these listings, whether the ones that have sold were complete whether they were damaged, whether anything was wrong with them, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to put these on for my Magic 12.99 plus postage and see what happens. But like I say, I'm going to clean this up a bit, tart it up a bit, make it a little bit nicer looking. Um, the box isn't in too bad a condition, considering how old they are. They're definitely 70s or 80s, aren't they? They could even be a little older than that. I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'm going to really vamp up my listing and see if I can get a nice £12.99 plus postage. Obviously, they are going to be a pain to pack. But because they're already in the box, it's not too bad. I think I'll just pad out the box. I'll put a little bit of tape somewhere on it so it doesn't damage it too much just to keep it down. And then I'll bubble wrap it up and hopefully pad it out enough that it will get to whoever buys it on time and in one piece more to the point right i'm gonna go you know i'm gonna carry on with the vintage right so i picked these up vintage homewares i'm finding these everywhere at the minute i absolutely love them these were three pounds look look at these now rob tells me his nana and granddad had these when he was younger which is lovely. I always tend to bring things home that they had. Look how clean they are as well. These are, what does it say? CLP made in Italy, 4552. Um, don't know what that means, not gonna lie, but they are lovely. So I've got a tea caddy. They are ceramic with a plastic lid. I have a coffee caddy. And can I add to this that they are all in excellent condition? There is no chips or breaks at the moment, obviously. I ain't had my hands on them for very long, so I'm hoping I will make sure that they don't get broken. And the sugar, they're just so nice. So there were three pounds. I'm hoping to get 15 to 20 for these. 20 might be pushing it, um, but yeah, I'm hoping they will do pretty well. I may even auction them. I've got a thing about vintage nostalgia items and things like this. I think even though it's old, it's vintage, people's nanas and granddads have had these. I do think that they are still quite desirable. I think they'd look lovely in a modern kitchen 
someone who has this colour for utensils and things. They'll just they'll just look fab. So yeah, really pleased with those. Right, I've got a couple of pairs of trainers. So the first ones, don't really know whether I should have bought these or not, to be honest, but I thought I'd have a go. They were three pound and they're a pair of Reeboks. Um, they look like running shoes to me. They've got the fabric and yeah, Reebok on the back. They are a size, a UK size five, made in Vietnam. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I'll get for these. I may have um, paid up a little too much. I'm going to try for 12 12 .99. They may be worth more. I've, I've not really had much to do with Reebok trainers. I don't find them very often, but yeah, I think they're all right for £3. Like I say, it was slim picking, so I was just getting what I can. And then another pair of trainers, £3. These are ASICs. Um, running shoes again these are the gel black heath 7 gs's i have cleaned these up because they were filthy look on my instagram to see the before and afters although you do have to zoom in because it's quite hard to see where the dirt was <laughs> but yeah i've cleaned these up they weren't as bright as this when i got them put it that way um i'm hoping 25 for those Asics tend to sell pretty well, and these are in really good condition, even inside. Look, usually at the back where this is worn, or at the sides where you get wear, they usually, you know, got wear there. But look at the soles as well. I think they're really good. I think don't think they've been worn a lot. They've got a little bit of wear to the front, a little of the creasing, but nothing major. So yeah, hoping I can get that for those. Right, teddy bear time. <laughs> so I found this teddy bear. This was again in the RSPCA, £1.50. This was, let me see that, there we go. And when I picked her up, I knew she was made by a good company. I knew she was a luxury teddy. She's got poseable legs and poseable arms. I don't want to do it too much. And her head moves. She's got this lovely like ballet outfit on but no shoes I don't know if she's supposed to have shoes anyway I was looking all over while I was out to find out what make she was I had to take her outfit off in public <laughs> poor thing so she is a Dean's Child's Play Toys made in Pontypool Gwent UK sorry if I've murdered that I don't know whether it is Gwent I don't know that's how you say it um yeah made with all new materials I'll show you the label. It is a bit fuzzy because it's got the fuzzy hair around it. There's the label. Um, yeah, so I researched her. They obviously didn't know what they had here. Um, she was £1.50. Some of these types of teddies have sold for quite a lot. Um, I'm going to put an estimate of 20 on for her. Um, but, you know, if you get ones with special eyes and things, they can go for near to 100 so look out for this type of teddy you feel you find a heavy teddy that looks expensive feels sturdy heavy yeah always the weight they always seem to be quite heavy the expensive ones and they always have a really nice face i just love her yeah so that's what i'm gonna list her for again as always i put best offer on um i'm not greedy if someone comes along with a decent offer i will accept it um, so I said that I wasn't going to buy these anymore. <laughs> I say that about everything. I get annoyed with things and I'm like, that's it. I'm not buying it anymore. I'm not having anything to do with it. But yeah, this was £3. <laughs> Yield Faithful, Rainbow Dash, Build-A-Bear, My Little Pony. I shouldn't have bought her, but I couldn't leave her for £3. I used to pay up to four fifty for these. But I haven't sold one in a long time, but I'm thinking Q4, she may sell them. Um, if you don't know what Q4 is, it's basically the end of the year coming up to Christmas when people go mad and buy all of your shop and it's amazing. I wish that's what happened. <laughs> But things like this do tend to sell for Q4. I sold um, a bundle of three 
or a bundle of four of these for 40 pounds last year near Christmas. Um, I've got some others of these um, and they are sticking around. So I think what I'm going to do when I get time is I'm going to take them all off and I'm going to bundle them up because I think that's the way to make money on these. It all depends whether I've still got this one though because I've had this one probably the most. I think she is the most common one. I think they're actually still selling her in Build-A-Bear. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of her about and I'm not sure... Not sure whether I'm going to get much for her and I don't know whether I've already got her. So I need to have a look what I've got and see if I can make some bundles. I'd like to sell, put her on for £12.99. Um, I think my other ones are actually on for more than that. So I'll probably bring their price down and see if I can get rid of them. Um, but again, when it comes to Q4 time, they tend to go for a little bit more. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right. Um, yeah. Basket. <laughs> Basket case, here we go, £1.50. Baskets are, they're a no-brainer really. They are big money. They're a bread and butter item, hate that saying, but it is what it is. Um, these have got wooden handles. I've sold one very similar to this before, but it was bigger. I can get 10 to £15 for this, maybe a little bit more. It has no make on it, but it's a very sturdy basket. In the age of Mrs. Hinch, who I adore, by the way, um, baskets have been made really popular again. They're great for storage. I have them all over my house. So I just thought, if it's still, if this isn't going to sell for much, at 150, I can find stuff to put in this. So it's not a flop. But I reckon 12 to 15. 10 to 15. Dear me. Right, this is what Lisa picked up for me. So I paid her... No, actually, I won't get to that yet. I'll show you this first. £2.50 for an official Disney store, Walt Disney Masterpiece, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell raised lovely mug. Look at that. It's beautiful. Paid up a little for this. Tend to only like to pay up to £2, but 50p more. Again, slim pickings. 10 to 12 for that. It's a lovely mug. It's in good condition, really nice and clean. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, a lot of us resellers are a sucker for a mug. What can I say? <laughs> Take that as you will. Um, and again, you know, Barbies. Barbies are going up in price in charity shops. They must have been watching my videos. But I found one for a pound. It is a newer one. I've had this one before with the crazy legs. Can can legs. Woo! Um, yeah, she's a newer Barbie, but I will keep her aside to make a bundle when I find some more cheaper ones. I did find Barbies, but like I say, they wanted two to three pounds. Don't mind buying Barbies at that amount when they are in really good condition and got accessories and clothes and stuff with them. Now, she has got a top, um, so she's good, but some of these ones, they were naked and they wanted me to pay two three pound no not doing it uh right and then the last thing from the charity shops is oh it's dirty look at this look at the bottom of the bag three pound <laughs> get the right way um so this is a disney tangled disney star um yeah, it's an official Disney store one. It is it Maximus, the horse from Tangled. These, I mean, Rob thinks I've made a boo-boo here, but he sold for £20 recently. And there's one on now for 15 I don't think that's a boo-boo, personally, but there you go. I think what he means is he wouldn't have bought him. I'm going to stick him on for 60 quid and prove him wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not one of those crazy people. But he's got all his saddle. He's lovely. He's got his reins there. Yeah. He's in pretty good condition. Or he was until he got in the bottom of my filthy bag. I, don't, I think all the bits have come out them bulls. Anyway, he's lovely. Um, I'm going to put him on for 15 plus postage. Again, he'll probably go for Q4. He probably won't go before then. But stranger things have happened. Stranger things. Oh, if you haven't watched that, watch it on Netflix. It's amazing. Right, so these are things I got 
from my best friend Lisa. She sometimes picks things up for me at charity shops while she's not with me. And then I pay her for them, obviously. Um, so I paid $12.50 for all this stuff. Um, but I will say that my son Dexter took a liking to a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on a skateboard that's remote control. It's huge. It's like this big. So he's got that. Um, much to my husband's dismay because he's like... How are we ever going to make any money? So I've promised I'm not going to give him anything anymore. <laughs> but that's the last thing. So anyway, first things first. She got me this LOL or LOL doll. She is naked. I don't really know how much she is worth. But I'm interested to try and sell her. I haven't sold one before. Um, so I'm going to comp her. I'm going to find out how much she's worth. If she's not worth a great deal, because obviously she's only got her knickers. I mean, she'd do great in Zoo magazine, wouldn't she? But, uh, <laughs> or Playboy. But yeah, that's a whole other issue. But um, <laughs> yeah, if she doesn't, if she isn't worth a lot on her own, I will keep her and bundle her up either with other dolls um, that are different or other LOL dolls that I find. This is a lovely Barbie that she found me. I love her hair. I mean, it's a bit tangled, but with this hair, I will not touch it because it is curly. And... I don't want to brush all the curls out, basically. I think she's very Diana Ross. Did anyone catch Diana Ross at the um, Jubilee concert? I still need to watch that. My mother-in-law said she was amazing. So I need to watch that. But yeah, she's got very Diana Ross hair. She's beautiful. She's even got the real glittery kind of 70s makeup. Lovely um, built-in outfit. This is stuck on. And these legs are painted blue or green. I'm a bit colour blind with that colour. Tell me what it is, please. Let me know. Do you think that's blue or green? Um, yeah, so she is either going to be sold on her own um, or, again, bundled up. I'm not sure. She's quite modern. Um, she's more modern than the other one that I found, so she may be a friend of hers. I may be bundling them up together. Then she got me this. How adorable is that? This is a Tomy 1988 made in Thailand. Um, little teddy bear cot toy. Does work. Look. How gorgeous is that? It's got the thing on it as well to put on the cot. So it's still fully functioning. Now, as far as I know, these go for around 12 to 15 on their own. If when I comp it, it's not doing that well i am going to put it together with the next toy i'm going to show you and i have the bigger version of this which is a cot toy but i don't have the actual thing that fixes it onto the cot so i may isn't it lovely i may put them together so this is the other one this is a termy 19 i think that says 1981 made in china teddy bear that's still going it's one of those ones that rocks, the arms go up and down, the teddy spins. Yeah, again, if these aren't selling for much on their own, I will be bundling it up with this one. If they aren't going to sell much together, then I'll put the other one with it too and I'll take that one off. Sometimes you've just got to adapt. Right, last thing, guys. Look, look who it is. <laughs> I love Bullseye. This is a lovely big Bullseye. It's like a deluxe one. Um, it says on it, Disney Pixar, Thinkware Toys, made in China, new materials only. Um, there's no year on it. Um, your guess is as good as mine. It's definitely Toy Story 2 and onwards time. Um, it needs a little bit of a clean up. He's got a little bit of dirt there on his mouth. But that's nothing Julie can't sort out. Um, he's got his lovely like leather saddle and Lisa did tell me that he makes noises. Now, I don't know whether he's working or not. He did work. Um, hang on, let me have a look. Yeah, it's on play. I think he may need a new battery. I mean, these things don't last forever, but there doesn't seem to be any corrosion there, which is great. <laughs> he's lovely, isn't he? And he's like proper size from the film when Andy's playing with him. He's the big one. Like my daughter had a bullseye and he wasn't as big as this. So yeah, I think he's fab. Anyway, um, I don't know how much he's worth. Let me know in the comments if you think 
you know if you sold one before or if you know here's the hubs <laughs> so yeah what do you think to the haul i think he's lovely um i don't know again like i'm gonna have to research him purpose of the video i'll say 15 um he may be a little bit more he's just lovely so would you have bought everything i got let me know in the comments here he is again look i'll get your bum out of my video <laughs> um yeah let me know what you think of what i bought um would you have paid what i did for everything what do you think is going to sell first let me know like subscribe hit the bell for more my buy me a coffee link will be in the description if you would like to support my channel and i would really appreciate if you did and i will give you a shout out as well in one of my future videos so i'll see you all later guys thanks for watching Ta -ta.